Yeah. I'm Philip Osako. Come have a seat, oh, Philip. Did you say Philip Osako? Yes. Oh, okay. Where are you from, Philip? I'm from Irvine, California. All right, cool. Now, you're going to be showing us something that I see is very beautiful. And before we turn it on, what do we have on this device? So this is the world's thinnest and lightest. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see how thin that was. Tablet. <gasps> That is super thin. I wish you could see that. I mean, that's my finger. I mean, I don't know how to give you, like, that's my pinky. Oh yeah. man, I didn't know my pinky was gonna go on, but that's thin. <laughs> yeah, it's 0.3 inches thin. It's 1.18 pounds. So again, it's the world's thinnest and widest. It's got this beautiful magnesium casing with a brushed finish. Yeah. So it makes it super durable. Five megapixel camera. There's a five megapixel camera on the back two megapixel camera on the front. Uh -huh. And what's even more amazing is, you know, the Toshiba tablets are known for its connectivity, right? Our first Thrive tablet, we had ports on it, um, USB port, HDMI. Right. We've continued that on this ultra thin and light. So we have oh, a I micro see right SD here. Ooh, card. nice HDMI right there. Yeah. Micro HDMI, micro SD, and micro USB. So all the connectivity that you're looking for, as well as the ease of use of being able to move files from another device like your camera to your tablet right. you can easily do with an SD card. Wow. So even though it's really thin and light, we've got full feature with it as well. Now I've got to ask, um, how, how long is the battery life on this? So right now um, we're targeting up to eight hours of continual video playback. Continual? Yeah. That's not standby. That's not standby. That's eight oh. hours of video playback. Wow. Well, I can I can get used to that. Okay. Let's. Can we turn it on? Sure. Absolutely. Can we show? All right. Here we go. We're going to show you. This is. And this, so this is running. I can already tell this is running on the Andro uh, Android, right? It's running on Android. Um, and so we've made some enhancements as well to it. We've added a couple of things, a file manager. File manager allows okay. you to um, easily see what's on your tablet and be able to, if you had an SD card plugged in, you'd be able to see what files are on there and make a copy and paste of those files and easily transfer those over. We've also added um, a new version of our media player. And what this does is it enables DLNA on it. So what you can actually do is you can stream music from your PC to your tablet or from your tablet to your PC oh, or even your home theater. Right. As long as they're all DLNA, you, you can move content what around. What does that mean? D, what did you say? D? DLNA. That's a, um, that's a certification for a device that allows you to be able to, if they're all on the same network, be able to move media. Between so you certify that it's me and I can, because I want to see it on different ones and as long as it has that okay I yeah. got it okay well you just learned something new right here right now okay so so this is the one wait wait I want to see your oh. playlist is this yours uh, no this is just oh. one of our our units uh, oh, okay I don't actually I wanted have to hear if you were like make a death <laughs> fan or something I don't know you can see a lot of Hawaiian music if there ah, was okay all right all right so all right so you got that and then you can surf the internet here. Now, of course, now uh, I'm assuming a lot of them come like Wi-Fi, and then they have a different service. What's the service you have? So we're um, this one is Wi-Fi enabled. We've also added Bluetooth to it, as well as we have GPS and a compass and a gyroscope all built in. Um, what we're finding is a majority of people are using tablets in their home where there's Wi-Fi. So yeah. What people are asking us for are Wi-Fi tablets. Right. Right. Yeah. Because I, I, I see that being, I see almost the whole world being Wi-Fi some point right but as of right now I have to admit I bought a tablet I, it was only Wi-Fi and I realized I didn't use it as much because it was harder to find a Wi-Fi signal in certain places I was at so so what we we do have is we just also are going to be introducing um, our Thrive tablet with 4G capabilities in there, and that one you'll be able to, uh, if you wanted to, on those times where you need yes. something beyond Wi-Fi, you'll be able to, to have that capability right. as well. Well, yeah, if you want to watch us on live stream, yeah. you've got to have a good connection yeah. to it, right? Uh, so hey, now again, the question begs itself because everybody always asks because it's Android, it runs Flash, right? Absolutely. So it does run Flash. So all of your web content that you're looking for will be there without an issue. Wow, this is, again, this is one of those things where, correct me if I'm wrong, we're, we're, we're sensing a, a transition here from laptops that we have to 
Yeah, so tablets. What, what we're finding is people really love the tablet because it's a great complement to a laptop. So it does some of the tasks um, that you do a lot, things like surfing the web. It does it in a very convenient format. So we get a lot of comments from people saying, you know, I use it at home. I'll be watching TV. Right. I want to look up um, something on the web, just something simple. And this is a quick, easy way to do it. It turns on instantly. It's very comfortable. I don't have to open anything up. I don't have to use a keyboard. Um, so people love it as a complement um, to their tablet itself. Now, if they're going to be doing things like writing long emails or, or doing spreadsheets, that's when they're now opening up their laptop and, and doing that. So they're really a good complement to each other. I see that coming this way, though. Everything's kind of, again, as, as more users are getting used to it, it's something you don't want to give up. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's a, it's a, it's a great feature. It's a great device. You know, and, and people are discovering every day. People are still new to tablets. Right. So, they're doing the obvious things like surfing the web, playing games, but then every day they're coming up with new ideas. It's, well, I want to use it for this, or I want to use it for that. Or I want to use it in the kitchen. I want to... How do you use it? Well, I use it for a number of things. I use it, first of all, to manage my business travel. I travel quite a bit. I do it to check my email, my Facebook, uh -huh. uh, my Twitter. I do all of those um, just to check on those. And then I also use it to play games. I, I, I gotta say, I, I play oh, a lot you of play games, games huh? Yeah, I play games on it. Oh, so we'd see a lot of games <laughs> on his thing. All right. So, uh, when can we see this coming out? So the Excite X10 will start shipping in the middle of this quarter. Okay, okay. So, so funny. Everybody talks yeah. in quarter, but in other words, it's going to ship in... In that February, March Okay, time thank frame. you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so very much for coming on the show, giving Thanks us a having... first look at this. I appreciate it. I'll let you know how I like it, <laughs> and we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you.